Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. We're here at Embedded Systems Conference 2009 in Boston, and I'm here with Chris Munch from Microsoft, and they did a great keynote the other day showing off some of the new features of Windows Embedded. So Chris, do you mind giving us a quick demo? What do we have here? What are we looking at? Yeah, what we see here is an industrial automation demo for um, the manufacturing industry. It is a mini factory that you can see here, a mouse production line, a quality assurance module. And we built a new concept HMI for that using all the great new technologies that's in Windows uh, Embedded Standard 2011, um, like multi-touch, um, Microsoft Presentation, uh, Windows Presentation Foundation, Silverlight, uh, the sensor and location toolkit and platform that's in uh, the new version of Windows Embedded Standard. Mm -hmm. So if you like, I can show you a couple yeah, of things. Yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look. So one of the things that are very um, important in the in the ergonomics for these kind of environments is that you can reconfigure the UI according to your needs. Mm -hmm. So we're using multi-touch gestures, in this case single-touch gestures, to reconfigure the uh, layout of the whole screen mm -hmm. by just simply dragging it where you want to have it. Right. So if you're right-handed, you'd be on your one side, or exactly. you need to work on something on one side, you can switch it around. Right. So right now, I'm I'm over here, you're over there, yeah. so I can get my controls over here that I can operate it better. Right. Um, it is a live demo, so it connects uh, to the factory automation parts with OPC, which is a standard uh, communication network mm -hmm. uh, between computers and the industrial automation infrastructure. Um, the other interesting thing about this, we really have incorporated a couple of cool multi-touch features that um, make it very interesting to operate this. So this is a camera here that makes a photo of the mouse and um, it basically says if the mouse has a black label it's a bad mouse, if it's a silver label it's a good mouse. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing here a bad mouse but we don't see it very well so I can go with my fingers and zoom into that mouse. Oh, okay. And look at more details mm -hmm. in case this um, is a is a good mouse, and I could basically reverse that and say, no, this is actually a good mouse. Okay. Um, I can also use um, long term statistics over this um, this whole production over a couple of days, and then zoom into certain areas, see for that day the complete production of that mouse, tap again. So everything is very intuitive. I can operate with the screen directly with my fingers and get then a list of all the bad mice mm -hmm. in this case. From a technology side, we're using um, .NET 4.0 beta, beta 2, which is in, in community tech preview right now, the very latest technologies. Um, we're using the touch APIs, we're using beta drivers for the touch screens, and it's basically all in, in a concept looking out for the next five to 10 years, what this then, with what uh, industrial automation could use in the next couple of years when, when all these products are shipping. So you have a bunch of sensor inputs that are yeah. integrated into the new product. Tell us about about that. So the, the one of the keynote features of Windows 7 and all the products that come out with Windows 7, including uh, Windows Embedded Standard 2011, is a new platform for sensor integration. It's basically an abstraction layer between a sensor toolkit, hardware, mm -hmm. and the software. Mm -hmm. In the past, if you wanted to attach to a sensor, you had to hard code against the sensor. And with this new sensor API, you basically have a common interface that you use in your application and you can plug in as many sensors in, in whatever sensor you have. In this case, we use a sensor from, from Freescale, so sensor development kit, uh, that has a little light sensitivity sensor on top. And if I uh, go with my flashlight over this sensor, you will see we adopt the UI and blend out everything that is not important to the user at that time. So we're simulating a very, very bright environment. Mm -hmm. Think about this little flashlight being a right. super sunlight environment. Mm -hmm. You come towards the screen, you don't see anything. Mm -hmm. So the idea is to blend off everything that you don't want to see, make the display dark, mm -hmm. and just focus on the areas that you really want to see. So you have then exactly this information in your in your screen that you want to see. It's a very, very ergonomic so, uh, solution for uh, displays and, and user interfaces. And then once the display condition comes, goes back or the lighting condition goes back to normal, the screen returns all the color and all the brightness. Uh, the other side effect of that is it's very uh, green IT friendly because every time you take off color from the screen, it takes less energy right. uh, to, to uh, fill basically the, the, the screen and um, you need less power. You can also dim the screen, mm -hmm. go into a, a, a 
power safe mode. These are all possibilities in the new sensor kit. How many sensors can you access through the API, just as a rough number? There's actually no limit in, this, uh, in the sensor kit. Okay. Um, the API is written that you can have thousands of sensors connected okay. to it. Um, scalability is, though, something we still have to test. Okay. Um, How many types of sensors, though, about? And you it, mentioned an accelerometer yeah. is in this. There's a little freescale board, which we're going right. to take a look at later. But there's an accelerometer. There's a light sensor. There's a touch. Um, there are touch surfaces. Um, okay. I think this board alone has five different categories of sensors. Okay. Um, but the sensor toolkit and the APIs are written in a way that you can plug in any, any sensor that you want. Right. It has basically a GUI, uh -huh. and then you program against that GUI. So if you if you categorize a sensor as an ambient light sensor, you give it a certain GUI, and then all the applications know exactly it's an ambient light sensor. But if you come up with a new sensor, mm -hmm. whatever, a shaking sensor or something like that, they, they haven't classified yet. You just give it a, a GUI and hand this GUI to the developer and you can immediately use the sensor. Oh, okay. All the information that the sensor then delivers is in the API. It's really nicely done for extension. And uh, the, the, the Windows 7 guys are currently looking and extending this toolkit to really industrial sensors. You see, this has lots of sensors in here, mm -hmm. light switches, RFID readers, mm -hmm. um, maybe barcode sensors, uh, wireless uh, transmissions. and. There's a variety of sensors that could, atta could attach to that using exactly the same API. So you don't have to rethink for each and every sensor how you program that. Right. Great. Well, thanks a lot for the demo. I really appreciate your You're time. Welcome. Thank you.